Good morning, Westwood High School. Today is Monday, November 20th, 2023. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Justin Rickey. And I'm Ruby Saltzman. Chess Club will be holding a bake sale today at the main entrance right after school. Chess Club will still be meeting today in room 167 at 3 p.m. The first open session for indoor color guard is today from 6 to 9 p.m. in Cafeteria B. Anyone interested in trying color guard or learning more about indoor guard can attend. There are no cuts, everyone is included, and placed based on skill. See Mr. Vitale in the band room with any questions. The Community Service Club is collecting non-perishable food for the New Jersey Food Bank. Items can include pasta and canned food. Please consider donating to those in need. Thank you for your support. The next mock trial club meeting will take place today, immediately after school in room 244. Team members, please check Google Classroom for your signed virtual meeting practice that will take place over the weekend. Meeting times are posted on Classroom. Any questions, please see Mrs. Legan. Come to the TED Talk Club today after school in room 117 for a general overview of the club's goals and a discussion on a new TED Talk. Looking to start your holiday shopping early, the class of 2026 has reopened the apparel fundraiser for all students and staff of WHS. There is something for everyone. Order by November 27th for the delivery before winter break. Use the WHS school store link sent in your email to access the store. The Ocean Preservation Club will be having a meeting tomorrow, right after school in room 282. They'll be doing a fun experiment and discussing some future plans. There will be snacks. Join the Running for Cancer Research Club to donate and help organize fundraisers for the American Cancer Society. Join the Google Classroom with code XP5FXE6. The first meeting is on Wednesday and all are welcome. The Eastern Culture and Mandarin Club will be having a meeting today after school in room 253. Join the Google Classroom with code U4TQ7BL for more information. Lost and found items not claimed before Thanksgiving break will be donated. Please check the main office for keys, jewelry, glasses, AirPods, and more. There's also a bin in the main lobby with sweatshirts, jackets, and bags left by parents that students did not pick up. Please take a look. You may find something you didn't know you lost. If you play basketball, winter track, or wrestling for WHS, qualify for a PE exemption, and want to use it, fill out the form on the athletics or PE website. The deadline is November 27th. If you become exempt later in the marking period, you must apply now to qualify. If you sign up for a PE exemption for swimming, ice hockey, or bowling, you need to check with your PE teacher to make sure that you are still on the list. Any questions? See Ms. Torok or your counselor. Did you know that about 30% of student athletes in the U.S. have reported experiencing mental health difficulties? The Mental Health Club is meeting today in the Zen Den after school for discussion about the effects of athletics on students' mental health. Congratulations to Charlie Hu, Owen Wei, and Nolan Daly for two incredible performances in the New Jersey All-State Orchestra over the past two weekends. The NJ All-State Orchestra is made up of some of the best high school instrumentalists from across the state. The orchestra performed this past weekend at the NJPAC in Newark and two weekends ago during the teacher convention at Historic Broadway Hall at Atlantic City. Congratulations to Charlie, Owen, and Nolan. We now go to sports with Emmy Wadonowski. Emmy? Good morning, Westfield High School. My name is Emmy Wadonowski, and here's your BDTV sports update. Congratulations to senior Ella Cadigan on being named All State Athlete of the Week last week. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Justin and Ruby. The WHS Counseling Department held a college fair at the, in the gym on Friday. Zach Meisinger was there to check it out. The department brought back the college fair where students were able to explore their options for after high school. The college fair is very nice. I like how there are different opportunities that people can look for in different colleges. These are all colleges that are near home. I think it's very nice that Westfield High is doing this and it's best to keep your options open, whatever options that may be and whatever may change in the future. Uh, I thought the college fair is a really great experience and I think that more people should go. I know it was a little bit packed, but it, honestly, like it was really helpful for me. I was able to look at a lot of the colleges that I wanted to go to and even ones I already applied to. I think it's like really helpful for me to make my final offers as a senior to choose um, each college or university. The college fair was a success. Reporting from the heart of the event, I'm Zach Meisinger for BETV. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Zach. That's all for today. Don't forget that tomorrow is Tropical Tuesday. If you would like to submit an announcement to be read, visit the BDV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a mediocre Monday, WHS. <laughs>